defines being an engineer very broadly. I think we all agree that it means, in addition to having technical skills, being innovative, putting your work into context, and considering how you can contribute to the good of the world. We lead first with offering a superb technical education. But where other definitions might end there, ours just begins. We really require and expect that students will learn arts, humanities, social sciences, design, and entrepreneurship. These elements provide the context for their technical skill. When I think about the kind of engineering we do at Olin, it's like hands-on is the first thing that comes to mind because it's all real world, it's all applicable, and it's all relevant to the world right now. My favorite class at Olin has been user-oriented collaborative design because I loved going out into the world and getting to learn about all these different people. And I really loved that the designs we were doing were designed with and for those people. There are a lot of different opportunities on campus for students to get involved in research, ranging from courses that are fairly research-oriented to many opportunities to work with faculty on research, either as an independent study during the school year or as a student researcher over the summer. One of my first few weeks here on campus, um, I found a faculty interested in brain-computer interfacing, and I just immediately got into contact with her, asked her if I could start research with her, and within that year, we had founded the Human Augmentation Lab. The general idea behind the Baja competition is to teach proper engineering practices uh, while building an off-road vehicle. We're not only trying to get competitive, but we're also trying to teach younger members how to go through design and iterate through their design process. The ability to take an idea and bring it to fruition or take an idea bring it to a professor work closely with that professor and bring it to fruition that happens here and it's really hard to find anywhere else we're constantly innovating in the classroom and i think that's a really useful and compelling opportunity to students because we're living the innovation that we hope that they're able to embody ultimately I think we really encourage Olin students to take risks by providing a lot of opportunity for experimentation and for experiments to go badly. My Olin motto is fail early and fail often. One of the most important things that I think I have learned since coming here is that uh, your first intuition is not always the right one. In fact, it very rarely is and oftentimes the best ideas come out of your failures, which shows, I think, that you're learning and you're growing. So the Olin community itself is a very small, tight-knit one, but there's plenty of opportunity to interact socially with Babson students, with Wellesley students. I love Olin because it's interconnected. I love Olin because it's weird. There's something for everyone here. You can always find something that fits your little niche. All the people I've met, all the experiences I've had, all the opportunities to do research at a very high level, to do real impactful work at a very high level. Uh, looking three years in now, and it's only confirmed for me that Olin is absolutely the right choice. You should come to Olin if you want an engineering education unlike any other. Getting out of the classroom and into the workshop and out into the world. I think you should come to Olin if you're ready to be an active and fully engaged participant in your education. If you want to experiment and take risks, if you want to have ownership over your own education, and if you want to learn to use engineering for the good of the world.